Hi guys, it's up. It's Anne here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly blossom rainbow and bracelet. This is what one will look like when it is finished. Now I'm going to show you what you need to make these bracelets. Ta-da! First, you need your crocheting hook, and then your rainbow loom, your rubber bands, and AC clip. Now let's get started. First you need to choose your colors. So I am going to be using green, white, blue, and that's, oh, and uh, purple. Okay, now let's get started. First I'm going to show you how to lay them out on your loom. So you're going to take your blue rubber band first, and you're going to take it from the center peg to the side peg. And then do that same thing from the center to the side. With that same color, you're going to take it from one peg and go up this way. And then from that, you're going to take it from this peg all the way to the middle like that. And then you're going to take this rubber band, take it from, from this peg to that peg. Now you're going to take another blue rubber band and take it from here to here. When it is finished, it will look like that, like a stop sign, for instance. And then, now you are going to take your green and you, you're going to take it from this peg to this peg, not like that, but you're going to twist it so that it will make an 8 like this. So here, twist, and then put it on. And then take another green, put it from here, twist it, and put it on. I'll show you one more time. So now you're going to take your white and take it from that peg to this side, like this. Then you're going to take another white, take it from this peg to this peg, like that. And then you're going to take it from here all the way up to there, like this. And then now you're going to take it from here up to here, like that. And then two more whites. Take this peg, take a rubber band from this peg all the way up here to the middle, like this. And then take your last white rubber band, take it from here to the middle. So then it'll look like a stop sign again. Then you're going to take two green rubber bands to kind of look like yellow on here. Then you're going to take it from here to here doing an eight like this. Like that. And then same thing up here. So this middle one right there and right here is going to be empty. You're going to repeat this step all the way until the end.
When you are done laying them out, it will look like this. And these two pegs right here, and right, well, three, one, two, three, you're going to put a triangle. So go from here to here to here. So now you push them down and it'll look like this. Now I'm going to show you how to hook. What you're going to do is you're going to go in here from the one on the top, from the purple one on the top, grab it, and then take it to the side like this. The same thing with the other one. So that will look like that. And then you're going to come in here. Push all of them back until you find the bottom purple. Take it off. And put it on the forward peg. Like that. And then you're going to push all of these ones back. Like that, find the bottom one, pull it up, and into the middle, like this. And then, do that same thing on the other side. I'll show you one last time. So you're going to push all these back like this. Hope you guys can see. Get the bottom white, pull it up and over like that. Find the other bottom, up and over. And then push all them back, take this forward, get the bottom white, forward, push them back, forward, and bottom white forward. Keep doing this pattern all the way until the end. When you are finished hooking them, it will look like this. If it doesn't look like this, I'm sorry, but you may have done something wrong, so you may want to go back and watch this video again and try and get it right. So now you're going to take another green rubber band, and your crocheting hook, and then put your hook through all these rubber bands, like and then take your rubber band, there we go, put it onto the hook part, and then pull it through, and then put the other end on, on, up and onto the gripper, so that both ends up on the gripper, like that, and then you just pull it off. And then there you go. I would show you how to extend this, 
but my wrist is very small so I don't need an extension. I will make another video and show you how to make a butterfly blossom and extend it. So now what you are going to do is take one of your C-clips out from your thing and then you're going to take the rubber bands off of the gripper so now it will look like this and then put it through your finger and then put a C-clip on and put it through like this and then you're going to take this end and also put it into the C-clip so that it will now look like this. I hope you did this right, and I hope you enjoyed watching it and had fun while doing it. See you soon. Bye.